hello. At the time of writing this, this method still works for obtaining the plastic jump coil, otherwise known as the infinite jump coil. If you are currently looking for ways to get it, there are only two ways. 1. The legitimate way. Or 2. My favorite way, using scripts. This video will be covering the dirty way of obtaining such an item. If you are looking for a legitimate way, feel free to click off to another video. All I can say is, good luck finding the codes. Please note that I am going to be explaining this as part of the white hat community, so if you attempt to replicate the same process and get banned, I am in no way responsible for this. I highly suggest you do not follow my example throughout this video. This video is a message for the Tower of Hell developers. Let us continue. The coil itself is somewhat of a game changer, as it allows the user to jump all the way to the top without having to go through the parkour itself. Doing some research, it is part of the 17 myths that surround the tower, each containing their own little mysteries. We will be exploring number 13. I've allowed myself to take a look within the community to research what exactly the coil is. Here, taking a small sample from the YouTuber Squid Magic, I immediately noticed that this coil is indeed a tool. As a developer, you must store a tool somewhere within a server to allow people to equip the tool itself. The same applies to the gravity coil and the speed coil. Because of this, I took the liberty of investigating the properties within the Tower of Hell itself. Using dark decks, I have scrolled through the contents within the game and took a look at the replicated storage areas, a place vulnerable to exploiting usage. Labeled clearly, we see a folder within the name Gears. As a result, using a simple script, we can copy tools from the replicated storage areas, allowing us to obtain these items. Not only did we obtain the plastic coil, but we were also able to grab the hourglass and the hook, both of which cost robux if you are not a member. And clearly, I am not a member of the Tower of Hell. The purpose of this video is just to alert the community as well as the developers of Tower of Hell that such an exploit is vulnerable to their game. Perhaps you can alternate the way that you store items, preferably not in the replicated storage or lighting areas. There are many other options such as using server storage in order to evade such exploiting methods that I showed above. Though you can probably ignore this video, I am only here to show that such a method exists. So think again, is this truly the safest way to store your tools within a game based on parkour experience? Is it truly the right decision to add an item that can distort this balance on a heavily skilled oriented game? Thank <laughs> you. 